I'm not exactly sure how it happened. Everything went so gradual, it almost seemed like the transition never took place. But it had. It definitely had. Good job. Happy Thanksgiving. My parents got their first cat in 1970. They loved her. Laura, that was her name. It was their child. Three hours after I was born, Laura died. That same day I was born, my parents got a new cat, Simon. Mom! Dad! Hi! Was everything okay while we were gone? Oh, yes. Why are you carrying cat food? Um... I, I'm not... Did you forget to feed Simon while we were gone? Simon? Did Jack forget about him? Jack, what have you done? I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I just fell asleep. I was really tired. He must be gone, but he shouldn't have gone too far. We better go look for him before he gets too far away. Okay, I'm coming. I'm sorry. Simon! Ed, you check over there. I'll go down here by the It took three hard days of searching until we finally found Simon. We'll find him. It'll be okay. After the near loss of him, my parents became very protective. They felt they needed to apologize for the troubles he went through. As for me, I was never given any formal punishment. But my parents began treating me a little different. Look, oh Simon, here you must be starving. Oh, just one minute, son. Open this one. This one's yours. Okay. It's a collar, Jack. <laughs> Pretty funny. When do I get to open the rest of my presents? But that's all, Jack. And remember, Jack, it's not just your birthday, it's Simon's too. So try to be a little considerate and not so greedy. Here, Simon. You're kidding me. All these things are for Simon? You get your cat ten gifts and all you get me is a stupid collar? What the hell is this? Jack, you're scaring Simon! Calm down, Jack. You should appreciate your gift. That collar was 100% cotton. I don't care what it's made out of. The point is, I should be getting gifts for my birthday, not the cat. Don't you guys know how to raise a family? I hate this thing, and I hate both of you, too. Jack, don't yell at us like that. We got you a good gift. Your mother and I spent a lot of time picking that out. If you don't like it, it's too bad. I don't believe this. I'm your child. You're supposed to care for me. Damn it, Jack! You get out of this house right now! Now you can see how it feels to live outside. Fine, I will leave.
I was never allowed in the house except on special occasions. My mother gave me a large cardboard box with blankets at the bottom to sleep in. Life is beginning to become hell. Meanwhile, Simon was being treated like a king. He did everything a normal kid does. If I was lucky, I had tuna fish for dinner and a rubber ball to play with. Simon, but now I've got your queen. Let's see what you can do now. It's your turn. It's Thanksgiving now, and it has been nearly two months since I was kicked out. Now, I am only their son to strangers. To them, I am a pet. a thousand times to pick up those toys in the driveway. I've had it. I'm just going to get out of here. I'm not even going to look. I don't believe it. I left before my parents got home that day. I don't even want to imagine what they would have done to me. I didn't even want to create that situation. Before they came home, I packed my belongings and took a train to my uncle's. It was hard leaving, but it would have been harder to stay. Sometimes I wonder where I would be if Simon hadn't died that day. Sometimes I scare myself thinking about it. My parents have sent me a few letters, but I haven't had the will to write back. They buried Simon in the backyard next to Laura. It didn't take long before my parents bought a new cat. They tell me he's an outdoor cat that spends his time hunting and scavenging in the woods. He likes to sleep outdoors, in his box. They say his name is Jack. More milk, please. Thank you.